Feast of the Holy Innocents, Martyrs. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, this is the message that we have heard from Jesus Christ and proclaim to you. God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him while we continue to walk in darkness, we lie and do not act in truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of his Son Jesus cleanses us from all sin. If we say we are without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we acknowledge our sins, he is faithful and just, and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from every wrongdoing. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. He is expiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm the response is, Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Had not the Lord been with us when men rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their fury was inflamed against us. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Then would the waters have overwhelmed us. The torrent would have swept over us. Over us then would have swept the raging waters. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Broken was the snare, and we were freed. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Magi had departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I tell you. Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. Joseph rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt. He stayed there until the death of Herod that what the Lord had said through the prophet might be fulfilled. Out of Egypt I called my son. When Herod realized that he had been deceived by the Magi, he became furious. He ordered the massacre of all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity two years old and under, in accordance with the time he had ascertained from the Magi. Then was fulfilled what had been said through Jeremiah the prophet. A voice was heard in Ramah, sobbing and loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children, and she would not be consoled, since they were no more. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflection Today, we celebrate the Feast of the Holy Innocents, Martyrs. Embedded within the Christmas celebrations, we cannot ignore the message the liturgy wants to convey to us to define with two clear accents, and even more, the good news of the birth of Jesus. In the first place, Saint Joseph's predisposition in God's design for our salvation, by accepting God's will. And, at the same time, the evil, the injustice we often find in our life, determined in this case by the martyrdom of those innocent infants. All this requires a personal and social attitude and response. Saint Joseph offers us a very clear and responsive testimony to God's call. We can, thus, 
identify ourselves with him when we are to take decisions from our own faith in difficult moments of our life joseph got up took the child and his mother and left that night for egypt our faith in god entails our own life it wakes us up that is makes us fully alert to those things happening around us because quite often it is where God speaks to us. He makes us take the child and his mother, God becomes closer, our travel companion, and he strengthens our faith, hope, and charity. And he makes us leave at night for Egypt. He invites us not to be afraid of our own life, which, more often than not, is full of shadows too difficult to illuminate. Today, those infants martyrs also have specific names in other infants, youngsters, old people, immigrants, ailing persons, requesting the response of our charity. So, John Paul II tells us, many are, indeed, in our time the needs questioning our Christian sensibility. It is time for a new idea of charity that can be displayed not only in the efficiency of the help provided, but in our capacity to become closer and more supportive with those suffering. Let us hope that God infants clear and strong new light fills up our lives and reaffirm our faith, our hope and our charity.